I'm animating a custom LEGO Geometry Dash level in 7 days. But to make it harder, I brought on a professional animator to critique it. If it fails to get a rating of 7 or above, I have to spend the Wheel of Punishments. So, let's get started. Day 1. The Planning Phase The most important aspect of this entire challenge is deciding the music. It determines the duration of the animation, the level difficulty, and how much planning is required. With that being said, I decided to use a video game song. But which one? So after spending countless hours searching, just kidding, it actually took like 10 seconds. Megalovania, which has a tempo of 120 beats per minute, according to Google. The faster the song, the more obstacles which need to be animated. So I chose a minute 20 version of Megalovania. This is definitely not a mistake. And for good measure, I drew out a couple scenes that I wanted to include in the animation, including that weird direction change one. That should be fun to animate. Day 2. Animation begins. Before we start the actual animation process, we need to build a set. So after some careful consideration, I decided on a blue and black theme for the design. Black paper would serve as the background, while blue Lego pieces would serve as a level border. Now that that's all set up, I imported Megalovania into my animation software and began shooting. I didn't realize this at the time, but there was a major flaw in my set design. But as I kept chugging along animating, I would be actively making sure that the guy was jumping to the beat, which cost me a lot of time as I would constantly be replaying a single moment to try and perfect it. After about an hour of animating, I checked the playback. <sighs> okay, I just looked back at the animation, and it's... Mm. Yeah, there's a lot of things wrong with it. For example, the level board is moving, and the beats are not synced correctly. Because of this, day two was rendered completely useless. Let's hope day three yields better results. Day three, the redemption. First, we need to address the problem from the previous day, the moving border. To fix this, all we need to do is to grab some double-sided tape and secure the Lego pieces down to the background. With that, we can start animating. When the music swells, I want to have the animation go into the diagonal direction change segment. This would prove to be the most difficult part of the entire animation process. This five second section would go on to take four entire hours. Granted, some of it was spent procrastinating. Next, I wanted to animate the direction change scene, but how was I going to do this? I simply went and analyzed the animation from Geometry Dash frame by frame in order to get a generalized idea as to how I would animate it in LEGO. It turned out to be a lot less difficult than I initially thought it would be, so I decided to do it twice. By the end of day three, I had eight hours of animation log, which gave me about 20 seconds of animation. Things were finally starting to look up again. Day 4. Progression. To start this day off, I used a white sheet of paper to transition to a flying scene. It also helped me mask a small bump in the camera angle. I tried to animate in some saws, but the camera didn't really detect that they were being rotated. Thankfully, it didn't end up being too big of an issue, so I just kept animating until I got to the next section, which was just a simple beat sync segment. Unfortunately, I ended up getting burned out pretty quickly, so I went ahead and called it a day. In total, I spent two hours animating, yielding an additional 10 seconds of animation. We've officially used over half of our days now, and if I wanted to finish this challenge in time, I was going to have to pick up the pace. And fast. Day 5. The Final Stretch. So we need to pick up the pace if we're gonna complete this animation in time, or I may end up having to spin that wheel. So let's get animated. Next, I wanted to add the spaceship sequence as well, so I dove back into Geometry Dash to get some more reference footage for the animation. It turns out it was easier than I thought to turn it into LEGO, and with any luck, I can properly sync it to the beat. No promises though. And as the song winds down, I lowered the exposure and went into a flying scene and I snuck in a little shameless self-promotion. All in all, an additional 18 seconds was locked, putting us back on track to finish the animation, assuming we don't have any problems. Day 6. The problem. So, my sister moved my tripod. She took it off the desk and then put it back on, and my brother completely moved everything around on the set. This is so frustrating, but I didn't let that bother me for too long. So I did my best to put it back to the way it was. There's still going to be a bit of a camera bump, but hopefully it doesn't completely ruin the animation. After that befuddlement, I continued animating. One other segment I wanted to add was the saw one, or whatever you call it and sync it to the drums of Megalvania. I had a little bit of playback issue with this, but ultimately was successful. So after animating the last few seconds, it was done. I just animated 32 seconds in a single day. That was absolutely brutal. I sure hope it was worth it.
Day 7. The Judgment. Before we call up the professional animator, we need to do some editing. When I exported Megalovania from the animation software, the audio got a little desync, so I had to realign the audio. I also decided to add in a little attempt counter at the beginning of the animation, as well as add in some fire sparks for the arrow segment. Now with the editing session completed, I exported it and called up the professional, hoping for the best. Yo. This is Sheer Films, the animator who popularized Geometry Dash in LEGO, with his original video amassing over 400,000 views, and inspiring many other animators to try this out for themselves. So, let the judging begin. 3, 2, 1, go. Wait, it's only coming out of the left? Oh, never mind, now it's not. It's looking good. Oh, I like all the effects. This would have taken so long. the bump. Yeah. Oh, the spider. And there we have it. Now for the actual rating. Points off for the animation being just okay, but then points added for being like actually creative in a lot of elements. So the length, how long it is, adds points. It's either a six or a seven. I'm going to say seven. Let's go! Yeah, I'd say that's seven. Uh, if you somehow made it to the end of this video, I want to say a massive thank you. We're trying to hit 100k by the end of the summer, which may sound impossible, but I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. He's the reason I'm able to do these videos in the first place. So if you have enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing to the channel, because we are just getting started.